today, riding this new loud sexy beast, and I can't get over it. Everyone keeps asking how I like the H2, and to be honest, it scares the absolute shit out of me. This thing's insane now that it has an exhaust, and it's virtually unusable, like, through my neighborhood and stuff. I, I can barely give it any throttle if I want to stay anywhere near the speed limit. Dan asked me, you know, how fast I got up to, I was like, mm, maybe 100, he's like, okay, cool, we need to shift into second. And that's so, so true, man, this thing is a whole new monster. I can't wait just to keep going with it. In my uh, last video about all the stuff I did, I forgot to mention I did a uh, lithium battery, which apparently is like super light compared to the last one. And I think that's where I want to start going with this is weight reduction. I, I kind of thought about, you know, stretching the bike at first, but I just, I really don't want to do that. The bike looks too good and, you know, eventually I'll learn how to use it in the corners and stuff. So I, I don't want to do the stretch, but I've been looking into the carbon and I think that's the way I want to go. I'm already, uh, for how big I am, I'm a little over six foot. I'm not too heavy right now. I'm kind of bulking for working out. But normally I'm about 180. And that, that's relatively light for my size. And I think that's where I want to start trying to get people, you know, when I start racing this thing is on the weight side of things. I think I'm gonna start putting little carbon bits here and there. You know, I'm not gonna buy the whole kit all at once. It's, that's like three thousand dollars. Not to mention the rims I want are like two grand. It's, it's definitely something I want to do in the long run. But after jumping as much money as I did in this thing, I'm gonna take it a little easy. So you know, a couple hundred bucks here and there for one or two carbon bits shouldn't be too bad. I'm also riding around with my uh, Flying Eyes Optics today, the new sunglasses that I've got. Guys, you can still get 10% off your entire order if you use the coupon code SPINFIN. Yeah, they're, they're great glasses, guys. I really, really enjoy them. And they fit perfectly in your helmet, but you can also wear them every day. Yeah, they're nice and stylish and sleek and super light. Like. You don't think that sunglasses could be like heavy, but compared to these, other sunglasses are like super heavy. And I also wanted to bring up the fact that I'm getting a ton of hate from people because I guess, because Dan's got his sunglass company he works with. But guys, I've obviously talked to Dan. Me and him are buddies. We text all the time. I, I of course, before taking this offer, asked him if he was okay with it. Like, I'm not just gonna go over his head and just be like, Sure, let's shit on Dan, like a lot of y'all think I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, let's get that out of the way. That's just ridiculous. The amount of people that on my Instagram post have tagged Dan, tagged Dan and his sunglass company on my post. Super disrespectful, guys. If y'all do anything like that, I'm just instantly blocking y'all. I mean, I don't do this for money, so I don't need the views. I just do it for fun and to share what's going on in my life. So, yeah, anybody that wants to act like that, I'm instantly just blocking them. It's great, and uh, it was really easy to set up all the Bluetooth, mic, and GoPro, and all that stuff. But man, if someone tells you that this little fin on top doesn't catch wind, they're full of shit. It definitely will rip your freaking head off if you turn to the side anything over 100. So if any of y'all had any suggestions on helmets I should look into, let me know. Especially if you've used a GoPro and a Bluetooth communication system on them, because a lot of helmets don't accept those nicely. You know, I've had helmets that you try to glue on a GoPro and there's just nowhere to freaking put it. So let me know down in the comments if there's a helmet y'all would suggest. And if you've used a GoPro with it before. Yeah, I'm riding into the office today that I work at. Um, a lot of people ask me what I do for a living because obviously I have some pretty nice toys. I 
I do have an actual job, guys. I do work normal hours. <laughs> a lot of people in the comment section are like, dude, what do you do? And the main idea is I'm a fucking prostitute. I sell my body for money. So hit me up, guys. Times are rough. People aren't buying like they used to. But no, that, that is one part of my life that I do keep a little separate. I don't need people. People are too much of trolls and assholes on the internet. And I know for a fact that my business would start getting calls and prank calls and shit if I told y'all where I work. It's just too easy to look up the information. So let's just leave it at that. I have a job. It, uh, it's nothing special or crazy or anything. But I just can't be putting it out there. I know I've answered this a couple of times in, you know, videos before, but as the channel slowly grows, more and more people see it. I haven't seen videos like that. I can't even get into the power band. Nowhere around here allows it. Like, I got on it a little bit on the highway, but that wasn't even, like, near anything crazy. This bike's just got so much more to offer. It's insane. So since I talked about the carbon pieces, guys, it'll pop up a little picture. It's easier to see a picture of the bike and then talk about this, but if I was gonna do some carbon pieces, you know, here and there, a couple pieces at a time, what would y'all do? Should I do the tail first? Because the tail, the top tail, like, comes in its own little piece. There's the two big side pieces that I really want to do the air intake like the ram air intake and everything those have their own pieces i can't really find the front cowl which i really want but they do have the two side pieces for the tank they have a ton of different pieces like chain guard pieces there's just all kinds of stuff so if y'all have an opinion on which one i should do first let me know Bike is a freaking monster. Alright guys, well, I'm almost off. So I'll see you guys when I get done working. Yeah, man. It's a lot of fun. What are you doing wearing shorts, man? It's hot. Gotta get it somewhere. My dad was just terrified of the grading yesterday. What's that? My dad was just terrified of the grading yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you wouldn't have been wearing full gear, you wouldn't have no skin like that. Oh, man. Yeah, if I'm going, like, real crazy, I'll wear it, but just cruising around, I generally get a little slack. Yeah, this 2R's got, like, 230. How much does that got? It's at, like... 208 right now. I just got a new exhaust put on it, so. Have you had it, had it mapped or anything? Uh, not since I got the exhaust. Yeah, before the exhaust, it was at like 190. With the exhaust, it added a little bit. Uh, I got the K and N. Yeah, I, I got some new red race oil or some shit. Got the lithium battery dropped a little bit. Uh, up here in town, like. Oh uh, yeah? Man, that dude was dope the fuck out. That dude definitely doing the dope. I gotta get to lunch or I would. He seems like a nice enough guy. But uh, I'm not following you on my $20,000 motorcycle to some random house. Shit. 
I'm sure it's perfectly good intentions. Dude likes to ride. I was looking around and said, why don't I have any gear on? Well, you never know. I always love that. I'm the same way. If I see someone on a bike, I'm like, hey, I got a bike at home. He said something about his dad going down or something. That's brutal. He said if he didn't have gear on, he wouldn't have any skin left. Yeah. And to be honest, I am squitting. I fucking know it. But dude, if I were here right now, I'd probably be more dangerous to myself just to fucking pass out in the seat. I mean, I'm literally dripped in sweat right now. I didn't even notice he had a bit man bun. Got excited, thought I was getting recognized for a second. 